Hey guys, so a lot of people are asking me, why do you triangulate your game assets? What's the point? And do you need to do it? And I'm just going to show you why. It's really, really quite obvious once you see it visually. So you're going to see right here I have a bevel modifier. I'll just turn them all off. A bevel, a triangulate, and then a weighted normal. Now the most important one here is the triangulate because um, without it you're going to run into problems and I'll show you why. So you can kind of see the difference. This is an automatic triangulation algorithm done by Blender. There's a few different um, options here. There's like a clip, and I, I don't use that one. I use beauty, and just I just leave it on the default. So the triangulate modifier uh, is pretty well done on Blender's side. What I'm going to do is export this mesh without the triangulate modifier, and we're going to see what happens. So I'm going to go up here to File, Export. We'll export this as an FBX. I'm just going to do no triangulation for the name. We'll tick on the selected objects button and then export this. We're going to do another one with triangulation. So let me add that triangulate modifier back and we're going to export this one as well. We'll call it triangulation so we know and export this one. Now for this example I'm going to pull up Marmoset Toolbag but the uh, same type of situation is going to occur in Substance Painter or um, whatever game engine you're using, you're probably going to have similar issues. So what I'm going to do here is simply just open up the low poly. So I'm going to go here to load, and we're going to open up the one with um, uh, with triangulation here. So we're going to open it, and you're going to see it's just fine. No issues at all. Now with a new scene open, we're going to do the same thing, but without the triangulation, no triangulation. And you're going to see massive, massive problems. If we zoom in here, collapsed this is collapsed this is all collapsed I mean some of it's okay just kind of depends how lucky you get but overall this one does not work and I'll tell you why it doesn't work what's happening let me go back to blender here what's happening is that the triangulate modifier is kind of baked in when you export this as long as you have a triangulate modifier in blender um, there's nothing for marmoset or your game engine to triangulate it has already been triangulated for you now what happens if you just export without the triangulation done in your 3D software is these other engines try to automatically triangulate your mesh because that's the only way they can interpret it. So in the example of Marmoset, what happens is Marmoset has its own triangulation algorithm, at least I assume that's what's happening, and it's automatically triangulating the mesh behind the scenes somehow, some way. I don't know how it's doing it. But the problem is that automatic triangulation done by, done by Marmoset causes overlaps in the geometry. So basically what's happening is the connection points are terrible in Marmoset. It's basically causing these types of overlaps, which can't be rendered properly in that engine. So what Marmoset is forced to do is just display this as nasty collapsed geometry. And whenever you export models without triangulating, uh, given you're using an NGON based workflow, yeah, you absolutely need to triangulate your mesh, otherwise it won't work. Now if you have a quad based model and everything is you know nice and clean, uh, you're not going to have that problem because everything's going to be able to be triangulated um, manually for you. So this is most commonly done in a mid poly face weighted normal workflow where you're using booleans and n-gons. This is actually the uh, workflow that Star Citizen uses for those of you who have played that game. Um, face weighted normal workflow and I would assume the guys making the models in there are doing the exact same thing in their 3D software by triangulating their mesh. So that's all that's happening. Basically, if you're using a Boolean and NGON based workflow, you need to go into your 3D software and triangulate. As long as you have um, confirmed that and you have a triangulate modifier, everything is going to be fine in your um, softwares of choice that you export to. So quick little video. Hope that helped and I'll see you in the next one.